Hello and welcome to The Rundown. My name is Vincent and I'll be your guide. Let's begin, shall we? Well, I hope you had a happy Christmas with all your new systems and games. All is well if you wanted to play offline or if you didn't want to download anything. Not so much if you were hoping to buy games or add-ons from any of the online stores, though. Nintendo has taken down the eShop for emergency maintenance. Now, the servers were overloaded on Christmas Day when Nintendo had an influx of new 3DS and Wii U customers. Now, not everyone had problems connecting. I set up my Wii U early Christmas morning and downloaded a bunch of app updates without a problem. But, apparently this was widespread enough to make waves on the internet, which is serious business. The official cause is listed as traffic overload, but it's hard to believe that Nintendo wasn't prepared for a large spike in traffic, like there is every year on Christmas. Now, Nintendo of Japan has removed the Pokemon Bank from the 3DS eShop to help lighten the server load, which kind of ruins its Christmas release. But really, who releases a downloadable title on Christmas Day? That's just poor planning, Nintendo. But they're not the only one with problems. Speaking of server crashes, the Steam Store went down on Christmas during one of Valve's Steam sales. Those usually aren't a problem. The sales happen pretty regularly. So what gives? Now, Steam was giving away copies of Left 4 Dead 2. By the way, if you haven't played that yet, where have you been for the past four years? But Santa's gone, and the Steam Store is back up. The PlayStation Network was also down, except that happened on Christmas Eve. Sony gamers weren't able to connect to the network, so there went multiplayer or downloading any new content. To their credit, though, Sony has PSN back up, just like Steam. Now, Nintendo has promised that their emergency maintenance will solve the eShop's problems. We'll have to wait and see if that's actually the case. By the way, no mention of Xbox Live having any troubles over the holidays. This isn't a fanboy rejoicing, but maybe everybody can learn from Microsoft. After all, they're the only ones who build their own servers and infrastructure. And so ends this episode of The Rundown. Thanks for watching, and remember to follow us on Twitter at IBTimesTV.